Hi everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about system and what do we mean by systems. You must have heard this word um, used in various different places and in various different contexts, but have you ever thought about what it actually means? So what is it? System refers to a set of rules, arrangement of things, or a group of related things that work towards a common goal. It can also be referred to a number of interrelated components working together towards a common goal by accepting inputs and producing outputs in an organized fashion. You can see that both of these definitions are quite similar and talk about rules, arrangement of things, um, components working together, etc. So it is a method or plan of classification or arrangement of different things. There are various different examples of systems. Let's have a look at them. You must have heard of the railway network. And you can see that it is a system in which different trains are working at the same time or moving at the same times without colliding to each other. And there is a network of rails which is managed in a way that, uh, you know, every train is driving or traveling on their own track. Then solar system, there are many planets which are working and which are moving around the sun without colliding to each other and they're working on their own pace. Then human body is also an, is another example of system. We are different interrelated system within the human body are working together to make sure that human body is functioning well. And if you look into the, the, the subsystems, so for example, circulatory system here, where you can see that how different parts of the circulatory system are working together to make sure that blood is received and sent to all uh, parts of the body. Similarly, healthcare system, which means that there are many different players, many different systems working together to make sure that healthcare services are provided to communities where the healthcare system is serving. There are various elements of a system, and these include input, process or processing, output, control, feedback, environment, and boundaries. Input, process, and output are the most important or let's say the most common elements of a system. And everything else is also very important, but it helps maintain the three functions of the system, which is that what do you input into the system, what processes take place, and what is taken out of the body or out of the system. So let's look at the example of input process and output. So let's take the example of um, your own institution or your own institution. So what we put into a system, it could be money, it could be effort, it could be raw material. So let's take the example of students, that if when we have the students who we put them through institutions or universities, or in this case, nursing schools, then what happens during that time period when they are within the nursing school? What happens between the input and output, so processes and everything that helps modify the input completely and transform it to a completely different things. So what happens into the nursing institution or into the university, which takes these people who have come into the institution and make them nurses or graduates at the end of the program. So output is the result of the effort that we have done. So that's the three main aspects of any system where it takes an input, it does something with it, and it takes it out as an output. As I say, there are other elements, for example, control. Control is a decision maker who controls the activities of accepting input processing and producing the output. So if you think of an example of an organization, it could be a manager who looks at what is coming in, 
what is happening within the, the, the institution and what is going out. And if you look at the example of your own home, for example, it pro could probably be your mother or father. Feedback is something which allows the measurement of success, which helps us understand if the whole process has been successful and if the output has been what we wanted or is there any change needed in the whole process. Environment, well, what we refer to here is the external elements which are not in our control and which are surrounding in the area where we are working and have an impact on the system. And boundaries and interface, interfaces means the limit with which are, within which the systems are working. So what are the boundaries of the system where, uh, within which uh, the components, processes, and interrelationship of various different aspects of the system were working together and would not want to get out of those boundaries. Here's an example where you can see that you know how input processes and output are controlled by the person who is controlling it and how various different environment and stakeholders and other people who are working within the system has an, imp an impact on the, the, on the system and how it is working. There could be various types of system. So you will find examples of open and closed system. So open systems are those which interact freely with its environment. For example, business organization, which work with, within the environment with other individuals, communities, other organizations, and make their way through it. And closed systems are those which are self-contained, which do not interact with the environment. For example, a computer system, which you can place it anywhere and it will work on its own system, but would not interact with other elements of the environment. System could be deterministic or probabilistic, which means that deterministic systems are those where the behavior is completely known. You know what is going to happen. You know how different um, uh, sys subsystems are working together. So for example, human body and the various subsystems, we know how these um, all of are working together with each other. Whereas the probabilistic system means the behavior cannot be predicted with certainty. We don't really know what's going to happen. The interaction between various subsystems cannot always be defined with certainty. Systems could be physical or abstract. A physical system is something which is tangible, which you can touch, which you can see, for example. Um, for example, a computer program. An abstract system, on the other hand, is something which you cannot see. It's not, it's not touchable. It's not tangible. Uh, for example, a mathematical equation where, where it gives you a result and you know that something is happening, but you cannot actually touch physically or do anything with it. So thank you for listening about the system and I hope you found it useful. Please do give us some feedback and please watch the next video about what do we mean by healthcare system once you have understood what we mean by system.